I am going to talk to you about lump sum purchases. A lump sum purchase is when you buy a group of assets at a single price. Because these assets are bought together, you need to allocate the cost of each asset. In order to successfully compute this allocation, you need to know the fair market value of each of the assets. Let's use this knowledge to find the allocation of each asset for this problem. As usual, I already have my template built up so we can go faster. In this exercise, company A purchased land, building, and equipment from company B for a cash payment of $306,000. This $306,000 is the lump sum purchase price. This is how much those three items were purchased for, land, building, and equipment. And I said the estimate fair market value, that's one of the most important things to know here, are land, $60,000 building $220,000 and equipment $80,000. At what amount should each of the three assets be recorded? Basically, it is asking for the allocation, allocation of each asset. Now, in order to begin, I need to find, first find my lump sum price. Okay, so my lump sum price is $306,000. And now I need to go ahead with my fair market value, okay? So I'm going to identify the fair market value for each of the assets. So land, the fair market value for land was $60,000. And the fair market value for building is $220,000. And the last but not least equipment and the fair market value is also $80,000. Now I'm going to add some of them up together. So the total for the fair market value is $360,000. Now, in order to find the allocation, I need to know the percentage of land over the total fair market value and multiply the percentage by the lump sum price. So the process is I'll find the percentage of each of them. The percentage will be over the total and multiply it by the lump sum purchase. That is as simple as it is. So I'll begin by finding the allocation for land. Because land was the first one listed here. Okay, you can do it uh, in another way. Okay, so what is the percentage for the percentage fair market value <clears throat> of land? Okay, I first need to reference the, um, the fair market price for the land. And then I also reference the total, so the total is 160,000. Now, how do I find the percentage? Percentage is the fair market value of land divided by the total fair market value, and that is 17%. Now I need to reference my lump sum price, which is 306,000. And then the allocation will be the percentage multiplied by the lump sum price, which is $51,000. We are going to use the same process for allocation of the building. <clears throat> so we have here, what is the fair market value for the building alone? That's 220,000. Now we're going to reference the total and the total is 360,000. Now what is the percentage? That is the fair market value of the building divided by the total fair market value. And then we're going to also reference again, the lump sum price because we're going to multiply the percentage by the lump sum price, and that is 187,000. We are going to use <clears throat> this to find the allocation for equipment as well. Now, as the process we have been doing, we reference the fair market value for the equipment, and then we also reference the total. So we can divide the fair market value for the equipment alone by the 360,000, which the total might be the value. So that is the percentage is 22%, okay, yeah, 22. And then we reference the lump sum, which is 306,000, and then our location for equipment alone will be 22% multiplied by the lump sum price. So we have 68,000. In order to double check if we are right, we can add all these three together. So we can add 50,000, 
187 and then 68,000 together, and we shall have one uh, 306,000, which will equal that. So let's do that and see. So I'm going to reference this one plus reference this. It does not work because I need to get rid of my markings here. Okay. Get rid of this and get rid of this. Okay, so let's redo it. So I'm going to take this 51 plus 187 and plus 68,000. And that is that equals one uh, 306,000 of my lump sum price. So that is how you do it. You first find a percentage according to uh, the market value, the fair market value, and the percentage multiplied by the lump sum price. And remember, you need to know the fair market value before you can do the allocation. There are so many ways to do accounting and whichever way you choose to do, keep practicing and good luck on your test.